What's up guys? This is MadScorch924 here and welcome back to part 19 of Yakuza 0. So last time we left off, we were gonna go meet Sagawa, you know, and um, we got sidetracked by a couple of uh, side quests. A couple of sub-stories. They were pretty good sub-stories. Um, but I was gonna go buy something real quick and um, let's see if we can try to do that. Let me interruptions. What's this? Okay. We'll start it up, I guess. Another sub-story. Oh, you, you took it that way? I see, I see. But no, that's not the right answer. I don't get it. What's this? A lover spat in public? Oh, there's another subplot we can do. And my pager went off. And basically saying that I got I got something that came in from the dragon and tiger right there. Um, we might as well do this. And then we'll try to do the statue one afterward. <laughs> ah, so close, but still wrong. You need to use your imagination on that one. Huh? Uh, don't gloat. Can't we just drop it? Uh... But, but, but... but. Hey, what's all the ruckus about? You kids are being awful loud in front of this shop. That's bad for business. Uh, 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 yeah, sorry. So, spill it. What's got you two flying off the handle? It's this. Some picture you drew at us. Where's? Has you that worked out? Okay, well, what the hell? It's not drawing. It's a crossword puzzle. A crossword puzzle? Hmm. Yes, it's a puzzle with some square grids in which you write in answers to clues. Each letter of the an each letter of the answer has to fit in a designated square to solve the clue. With this puzzle, once the grids are completely filled, several letters are taken from specific grids and used to form one word or phrase at the end. <laughs> How about that? That's what's hip about. That's what's hip and happening these days. It, it does sound kind of fun. They usually are, but the puzzle cocoon made is too hard. I'm over it. Cocoon? Oh, that would be me. I'm Kosaka. Kosaku. This is my girlfriend, Shizuku. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> so, you two make puzzles and get each other to solve them? You must really like these things. <sighs> uh, yes, that's true, but, uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, blah, I'm over it. I don't want to work on this stupid puzzle anymore. I'm happy you made this for me, but can I give up? <laughs> Uh, uh, no, absolutely not. Eh? Huh? Why? But, but because you just can't quit. I'll help guide you to the answers. We can solve it together. Oh, mm. uh, you're sucking all the fun right out of this by being so intense, Cocoon. I don't want to do it. Eh? Oh no, you have to, please. I said I don't want to anymore. Oh. Sorry you intrude. Help on solving puzzles and fighting about it or whatever. Just keep it down, will ya? Oh, yeah, sorry. It, excuse me, may I have your name? Oh. Huh? I'm Majima. Majima-san! I have a huge favor to ask. May I have a moment? Oh, so, what? Just leave his girlfriend out on the street, I get it. Whoa, so when uh, you solve your puzzle, it becomes like your proposal to Shizuku-chan? That's like some real creative shit. Shh! Masama-san, keep your voice down! Uh. Oops, uh, sorry. Sorry. Just trying to say, it's real clever. Romantic too, I guess. <laughs> oh, thank you. <sighs> but I didn't count on her being so stubborn that she can't solve a single clue. Ouch. That's a tough one. <sighs> yes, that's where you come in, Majima-san. Can you help Shizuku-chan solve the puzzle? 
Okay. Help her solve it. Why do I gotta do that? If I keep pounding her, she'll totally blow the, her lid and tear it up or something. Please, my whole future is riding on this. Can you help Shizuku-chan with the puzzle so she can get to my proposal? Sure, that's super weird, but we'll do it. Alright, sure. I'll help you. <laughs> you will? You're my hero. Okay, well, let me get this straight, though. All I gotta do is help the girl solve the puzzle, and you're golden, right? Hi. Yes, if the puzzle questions are properly solved, my proposal will ultimately emerge. And I need your help to make sure she gets it right. I get it. Alright, a proposal's a pretty big thing, ain't it? Uh, I'll, I'll pitch it. I'll pinch it for you, okay? Thank you. Let's move in to, Let's move it inside. Ooh, that looks pretty yummy. I would love to eat there. Would you guys? I like crab is real good. I don't know if you guys like crab as well. Mm. Kokun, you made this crossword puzzle way too hard. Can we like do something else? Don't be so quick to give up. When you solve the puzzle, I'll treat you to the best crab they've got. Mm. I like that actually, but uh, there's no way I can solve this puzzle by myself. It'll be okay. Majima-san here is an expert. He'll help you with it. Right, Majima-san? Uh. Like a wordsmith at a crossword forge. <laughs> oh, really? That would be so helpful. Kokun's been obsessed with this crossword thing. It's so weird. Uh. Can't say I blame him. He's got his whole future writing on this. Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Let's just get this puzzle started. Let's just solve it. One down. Uh, okay. So, uh, what's one down? What's the clue? Let me see. One down, a dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes and served with gravy is called blank potatoes. The blank is where the answer goes. Back it up. What the hell is gravy? It's a western sauce made from juices of cooking meat. You know, the brown sauce they often serve with steaks and meat when it's served western style. <laughs> oh, that stuff. Okay. You really know your way around food, Shizuku-chan. Yeah, but a boiled and crushed potato just that goes well with gravy, I can't picture it. From a number of squares, it looks like it's six letters long. Okay, this made by boiling and crushing potatoes. Often served with gravy is called blank potatoes. The blank being six letters. Mm. Is it mushed, hashed, or mashed? Hmm, I wonder if it's mashed. Hmm, hmm, let's go with mashed. Yeah. Ain't it mashed? <laughs> oh, that sounds right. It's the creamy, mushy potatoes you get with the steak, Mush my son. You're fabulous. <laughs> yep. Yep, Majima-san, you're on the ball. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I guess that has to be the answer. The only places that serve mushed potatoes are the ones that can't spell. Why didn't I know that? This is what you were hoping for. Yes, you're doing great. Uh, I think it's safe. I think it's safe to fill in the squares. Then, Shizuku-chan, from square one down, mashed. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, mashed. You call that? <laughs> what was that? You just kind of scribbled. I wrote it down. Did you? Uh. All right. Next clue. I'm not gonna look at your typing. Your your writing. The next clue is, what is the most popular snack food served at a movie theaters? Kokun even left a note saying we shared some at the last movie we saw. Hmm. I have been to theater in ages, so I don't really know what's popular. Kind of a skimpy clue. I have to agree. But if you shared some last time you saw a flake, do you remember what it was, Shizuku-chan? I do remember Koku buying some stuff at the counter, but what was that? Oh, oh, oh. but what all oh, was it? Oh. I asked him what size he wanted, and then... Oh, it comes in different sizes, huh? There are seven grits to be filled this time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay.
Okay, a seven letter snack food that's most popular in movie theaters and it comes in different sizes. It's gonna be hot dogs, popcorn, or noodles. That'd be awesome if it was noodles. I would love noodles at a theater. Like, be like, yo, what, what size noodles do you want? And he'd be like, I don't know, man, I want the large size of noodles. And you just, you just eat the noodles at the freaking theater as you're, and, and you hear a bunch of slurping noises and stuff while you're watching, like, I don't know, John Wick or something. You're like, <laughs> oh, that'd be so hilarious. Um, but obviously the right answer is popcorn. Yeah. Ain't it popcorn? Oh, yes! I, that's right, I'm an idiot. It's popcorn. <laughs> yep, yep, that's it. Yes, popcorn really has taken off at the movie theaters lately. Why didn't I remember that? Looks like she got it right. And I got it right. Looks like we don't know basic things. Hmm. Yes, you're doing great. Please keep it up. Uh, Shizuka-chan. Uh, let's fill in those squares. P-O-P-C-O-R-N. Hi. Uh, okay, um, popcorn. Uh, uh, done. I wrote it down. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, good job. You, you wrote it down. Bring on the next clue. The next clue is... A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere, sometimes called a blank phone. Oh, they really make... Phones just so you can put in bags or on your shoulder now? That's like crazy. Man, what a time to be alive. It looks like it's a word that's eight letters long. A phone that you can carry around, huh? Didn't I see that called a bag phone somewhere? But that's too short. Is it? I'm totally lost here. A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere. It's called the blank phone. So the eight letter word to fill in the blank is obviously a backpack, a high tech, or a shoulder. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know actually. This one I don't know. I know there's a sub story that involves it. So he, I would have known based off of that. <sighs> I don't know though. Let's go backpack. Mm -hmm. Let's try backpack. Yeah. Ain't a backpack phone? Backpack phone, I see. That does sound very portable. That must be it. Uh, what? And backpacks have straps too, right? Might as well say. Yeah, two of them. And it's perfect for the eight letters long. I think we got this one in the bag. Yeah. Wait, but... Fill in those boxes, Shizuka-chan. B-A-C-K-P-A-C-K -A -A -C -K. Okay, um, backpack No! That's wrong! It, it, it is? Huh? That's the wrong answer, the clue said a carrying strap, not two Why would you carry a phone on your back? It's not an army field radio Oh, I guess not Oh, so you're saying it's not backpack? It's shoulder. You can wear these phones over your shoulder. So of course that's where it, the, na the name comes from. Huh? It's called a shoulder phone. So, so that means just write shoulder in the blank squares. Okay. Hi. You're way too intense, Koku, but fine. Shoulder phone, bag phone. Wh why two names? I wrote it down! Good job. Now on to the next one. Masuma said, we're almost done. The next one's the last clue. <laughs> yeah? Then let's do this. Okay, I'll read the last clue. This is the term used to categorize the faces of men. A man, a man with a typically plain Japanese features is called a blank blank face. The opposite is called a sauce face. <sighs> The hell is that? Teenager slang? Now I'm screwed. I think the two blanks are where the answer goes, but it must be two words. There's room for eight letters and all. Okay, so the opposite is sauce face. 
must mean that it's got to do something with flavor or condiment, right? Uh, oh, that sounds very possible. If it's a sauce face described to face that's rugged or foreign, then this would be softer. Okay, a term used to describe the face of a plain Japanese guy. And it's two words followed by face. The opposite is sauce face, so the two words are miso soup, soy sauce, salt free. Mmm. Miso soup face, soy sauce face, salt free face. I don't know. Miso soup face. Maybe it's miso soup face. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, good call. Miso soup is pretty thin and plain. Uh, what? I prefer white miso, Majima san. What kind of miso do you like? Uh. Oh, I'm a red miso man. It goes great with cucumbers. Anyways, miso soup's two words, and it's like eight letters and all. This one's a grand slam! Yeah. Wait, but. Shizuku chan. Gotta write that down. Miso soup, okay? Hi. Yep. Um. Miso soup. No! That's wrong! It, it is? How could it be miso soup? Sauce is a flavoring and miso soup is a proper dish. They're not even the same ballpark. Hey, slow your roll. I thought it was a pretty good guess. Uh oh, so the answer isn't miso soup? It's soy sauce. The, the opposite of a sauce face is a soy sauce face. I thought every girl knew that. Uh, sorry. Write it down! Soy sauce is the answer! Hi. Fine, soy sauce face, whatever. Soy sauce face and sauce face? Huh? Kids these days are so dumb! I. Eh, 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 uh, I wrote it down! Uh, let's see. That's it for the clues? <laughs> yes! Yay! It's all done! Fuck this thing! Wait, wait, it's not finished yet. There's one last thing to do. Don't you see the circles on the puzzle? You've got to use the circle letters to form a word. Uh. Oh, right. Uh, let's see, it says... Let's blank. I, I guess the blank... Mm, I guess the blank is the word you get from the letters circled on the puzzle. So it's five letters. From MASH, I get... The letters M and A from popcorn. I get the letter R from shoulder. I should get another R. And from soy sauce, I add the letter Y. Okay, now just write those letters in the blank and read it the whole thing out loud. Let's marry. Cocoon, what is this? That's how I feel about you. I've been wanting to say those words for a long time now, but I could never work up the courage. Cause I'm stupid. I thought maybe putting them in a crossword puzzle would like help me, but that's why I was so adamant about you solving this one. But I made it too hard. Sorry. Cocoon. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> what you read there is how I feel about you, Shizuku Chan. Do you, do you have an answer? Not until you say it. Hmm? Huh? Kokun, I want you to look in me in the eyes and ask it. Uh, s sorry. Uh, Shizuku-chan, will you marry me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> really? You will? Awesome, that's freaking sweet. Y'all! Yeah. Huh? How hard was that? I wish you would just said instead of putting me through this shit, you idiot. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't think you had so much trouble solving it. I I did it on purpose, you know. I wanted you to say it. Hmm? Wait, wait, what? Forget it. Congrats, Kazaku and Shizuku. That's so weird. What a weird little conversation that was. It was hilarious, but it was so weird. Majima-san, I can't possibly thank you enough, but please, take this! A five-terminal line. <laughs> okay. 
Nice miss, Shen. You sure know your way around the crossword puzzles. You breeze right through it. You really knew it. You really knew it, these, huh? <laughs> yep, first time. It was pretty fun, though. You gotta put together one, another one of these for me sometime. Yeah. Oh, I don't think there'll be another one. My crossword puzzle making days are over. From now on, if I need to convey my feelings, I'll say it in my own words. Koku. Oh, <laughs> You're sappier than a tree, Koku, but good for you. We'll be going now, thank you, Mashima san. Thank you so much. We're going to be happy together. Ah. Yep, no doubt. I bet those two would have ended up together no matter what I did. Yep, but he's right. If you want to say something, you gotta say it in your own words. Your own words are what you get through life's toughest spots, even when you gotta cross words. <laughs> Pipe five brain. <laughs> Time to be moving along though. Let's go. And that's true in words. That's also true in real life too. That's not just like a game thing. Definitely. All right. So we can tackle Satchel. We help this guy truck cross the street. Let's try helping the guy cross the street. I guess. I was gonna do the statue, but th I have a feeling this is gonna be a pain too, so. Oh, Majima said, did you come back to help me with my dream? Uh, Sudachan, was it? I'm supposed to keep you safe while you stroll across the bridge in that station of yours, wasn't I? Yes! That's it! Can you please help me? Sure. Alright, fine. I'll help you. Hmm? You really do this? Oh, you mean it? I mean, I know I asked, but I didn't expect you to meet a person kind enough to get into a fist fight for me. Yeah, story of my life. But if you're serious about this stage and drawing out goons like flies on rotten fruit? Hi. Oh yeah, totally. Just watch. <laughs> Walk in the Majima. Walk in over here. Gotta cross this bridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hey, you! You think that you're hot shit in that jacket? Huh? You trying to start something? Huh? See? <sighs> yeah, I'm seeing it. Can't tell if it's that station or you that's drawing all this aggro, though. Okay, I'm gonna go strut proudly on this bridge. Please keep me safe. Enjoy your stroll, bud. These punks are gonna pay the toll to the troll. Alright, let's get it. Now, I don't know how hard this is going to be, um, but I actually want to use a, a real weapon for this, because something tells me this is going to be difficult. Wow. Alright, let's go. Next up, who's next on the list? All right, you're out. Turn out. Man, everybody's trying to hurt him. He's already like half done. This is actually a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Nobody get up. Yeah, we did it. I mean, all the way across Iowa Bridge while wearing my beloved staging. <laughs> Good for you. Hi. Yeah. Thank you, Majima-san. You made my dream come true. I'd like you to have this. 
It's the best I can do with my thanks. All right, we're gonna counter find her. That's cool. I don't think I've ever been this happy. I'll never forget what you did for me today. <laughs> Cruising around in a jacket is that big a deal to you? You're not, dude. <laughs> I know. I don't think most people would understand how much this means to me, though. But still, it was my dream. Guess that's true of most dreams. Sorry, I shouldn't have called you odd. <laughs> no need to apologize, Majima son. I owe you a life debt. You never need to apologize to me, ever. <laughs> I take it back. You're an odd dude, Suda-chan. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, I get that told often. Well, after that most satisfying accomplishment, I'm hungry. I'm going to head home for food. <laughs> See ya. Good luck on those bridges. Yes. Thank you and goodbye. Hey, you probably shouldn't go back on that bridge. Hey, you probably... Mm, I guess it ain't so much about what the others think of you. If it's something you want to do, you better get up to it, I guess. <laughs> Suda-chan was pretty weird, but this his philosophy is right on. It's a real man. <laughs> huh? Hey, what's with the hard-ass staging? You trying to be funny? Bring it on the fights, huh? Let's get it on, then. Take it off and go home, man. That's hilarious. Alright. Um, we don't really have enough time for him, I don't think. But, um, oh, jeez. You know what? That's what we'll do to end the episode. We'll fight Mr. Shakedown again. What's up, man? You wanna fight? You look like you're doing well, you son of a bitch. Man, you piss me off. What, you again? Why do you keep coming after me? None of your business. Shut up and let me punch you or hand over your money. So if I let you punch me, I can keep my money? Yeah. No, I'm taking your money either way. What kind of choice is that? Sometimes sacrifices need to be made for a greater cause. And you're the one on the table. Mr. Shakedown, back at it again, my boy. Let's do it. Alright, let's see what you've learned since the last time we fought. Come. Come on, buddy. Ooh, look, he's under some new moves. Come, come. Oopsie. Come, come, let's go. We got things to do. Like, end the episode. But yeah, we did some pretty great things today in this episode of Yakuza. We did a nice long sub-story of, of two star... Well, star Quest lovers is not really correct. More like cross-worded lovers. Um, we helped a guy on a bridge who really wanted to, like, get in there and strut his stuff with his, you know, his stage in, which is just basically like one of those, um, college jackets. Alright, let's see if we can take him out. Oopsie. We can do this. Bam! How you like that, Owie? And we'll switch back. Get up! Come on, we got things to do. Making money off of you, of course. Come, come. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, move! It took so long to do an actual attack, my heat went down.
Come on. We should have Mr. Shakedown. How you like that? Lovely. Oh, he's pissed. I mean, eventually when they stop, the Mr. Shakedowns um, stop having their conversations of like, they keep repeating themselves. That's when we'll, I'll probably stop them. Um, Oops, they actually went into them. That was an accident. Did he break anything? He did not. We're good. But um, when they start repeating themselves in like the same thought bubbles, it's probably when the time is going to start trying to avoid them. Because they won't have anything new to say. And then after that, I'll probably start fighting some Mr. Shakedowns off camera. But fighting Mr. Shakedowns is still like worth it. On camera or not, just because of all the money we're gonna make anyways. Like, you just make so much money, like, it's ridiculous. Like, like, it's still worth doing. If you can beat them and feel pretty confident beating them, that is. There we go. He's done. All right, we took million yen. Pretty nice, pretty good, solid bill. I win. Look, if I can get about trying to beat me, so just leave me alone from now on, deal? This is all going wrong. My plan isn't working. Plan? What's this plan of yours? Has it got to do anything with you coming after me for money? The shakedown's a necessary part of the plan. I will not stop until I achieve my primary objective. You're breaking up the wrong tree. You ain't getting a single yen from me. You say that now, but I'm going to keep training. Next time we meet, I'm going to clean out your wallet. And that's where we're going to end this episode. I shouldn't really care, but I'm curious about his plan of his, so I guess I'll just ask him if he pesters me again. Whatever. Um... Let's see. We can also take a look at the abilities while we're ending the episode. We got unlocked a bunch of stuff. And same with Thugger style. I mean, I should upgrade this. Because it's what we use anyways for Mr. Shakedown anyway. Um, but yeah, on that note, we are going to be ending the episode here. If you guys like this episode, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me you guys think of this LP so far. I think it's fun. Um... Hold L2 and R2 together, and you can, oh, pfft, whatever. Um, and hopefully you'll keep on watching out for more of these in the future that are, uh, that are coming in. Um, if you're not subscribed to me already, feel free to subscribe, and then um, don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my future videos. Posting it accounts with bat nunchuck swing, yeah, whatever. And I'll talk to you guys all in the next episode of Yakuza Zero. Have a good one, guys.